let's talk about this interesting feud that most likely is still going on, but it kind of simmered down during the years, technically. So we're going to talk about freaking South Park versus Family Guy. And one thing that Seth MacFarlane doesn't actually understand is like, did you listen to the review? No, he just read something. He didn't actually do one of the, the inter, one of the interviews that happened. It's like the one interview that I heard is like so kind of beautiful and messed the freak up. That reminds me of Star Wars Episode Three: Return of the Sith. You were the chosen one. I believed in you. You could have did more, and that's the sad truth. The rap park actually see more promise in Family Guy if they cut out the bullshit gags. So it's like the story itself actually would have been good if you stopped the damn gags. That's what that's what they mean. That's what they think. And the writers themselves kind of suck. <laughs> that's what he believes. But it's like, yeah, well, the thing is that they also said that when it comes to them having to find writers, they actually try to find writers that are gagsters. Well, they look for the ones who are gagsters and ones who actually can truly write. Gagsters are messed the freak up of where it was <laughs> Power Rangers has that freaking issue with Cat Lady and Owl Boy. I mean, Owl Gent, but it's kind of like they are like that, but not really. Because, well, what is what happens is that they make a gag and they just throw it in there out of nowhere, which technically for Power Rangers, it is like that right now. Yeah, it, it kind of is right now where it's just shoved in there and it's like seriously seriously it's like they do add the whole thing it's like yeah so you have freaking gene and jay borg and it's like oh great so yeah you do have them in the series and it's like oh we need to use them and it's like not really i mean you can just show them they're around i mean you don't really have to actually do any gags with them <laughs> gags i already said the freaking word and it's like yeah it's really messed up that that's how things are going, where it's like, you don't really need that while you're doing this. You don't really need that. And that's what basically South Park believes. The two who actually are involved for South Park believes is that they don't need gags to be funny. They don't really need that. It's like what you can really do is look promising without the freaking gags. That's what they actually see. They see promise in them. They see promise. And it's kind of funny that Mike Judge is never really mentioned. It's like, yeah, he mentions the Simpsons, but apparently he doesn't know Mike Judge is like, fuck you, family guy. And I'm shocked that that's how it goes. And, you know, it would be freaking great if Beers and Butthead someday is watching Family Guy and he make freaking damn fun of him. It's like, yeah, that deserves, that's deserved. That's freaking deserved. I would love to see that because he despised Family Guy too. Family Guy for me, well, I thought it was funny. I thought it was good until 2009, 2010, which of course, again, you guys can actually see that for yourself of Road to North Pole. That's when things actually got too far. It's like, that's like the first stone that's like, whoa, what the freak? And it's like, oh, well, the gags and stuff is like, yeah, that didn't have any gags at all. That was just freaking horrific as fuck. And then, of course, as soon as the Cleveland show got knocked the fuck out, that's where I really was like, OK, well, fine. Fuck this. I'm done. I'm freaking done with this shit. I'm done. And ever since I left, it just kept on getting worse and worse and worse. It got very bad. It's, it's bad. It's like some will be like, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's like, no, no. From what I can tell, things have gotten even worse and I'm not coming back. And it's even bad. It's, it's, it's messed up situation because it's like, yes, fuck FXX. They continue to allow Family Guy to take over. And I'm like, what the mixed up fuck, dude? What the fuck? No, no, stop. Stop allowing them to continue on and conquer your freaking damn days. Stop that crap. I want to watch The Simpsons. I don't care for Family Guy. And then here we go doing this crap. And it's like, what the frick? <sighs> what the frick? <laughs> it's like, what the frick? But yeah, it's like, there's no real jealousy with the guys of South Park all against them. It's like, yeah. 
they do dislike the fact that he gets more ratings than he does. It gets more viewership four times as much at one, one of the, you know, one of the interviews. That's what they said. And it's like, yeah, it's kind of messed up because like you're in cable. He's on actually anywhere. You can watch him anywhere, park anywhere they want. You got to know that there's a big disadvantage here. But you got to come in solace. It's like, yeah, it's like he doesn't like you. You don't like him, I guess, kind of. And he's like, yeah, stay away from my writers. You should, you can disrespect me as much as you can, but not my writers. And it's like, well, your writers follow your damn lead. And I'm like, yeah. And we can even go with Owl Lady and Cat Owl Lady. Sorry, Cat Lady and Owl Gent. When we come to this, it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, you can't bash the writers, bash the people responsible. It's like, I would, but the person who they quote is not responsible or all that bullshit actually left. So, and the freaking stuff is still continuing under their command, their producers. So I can't just straight up be like, oh, well, Jaime Zabon is your damn fault. It's your damn fault. When it's like, then when he's out of the picture, they still doing the shit. It's like that's what's fucking you over. And if you're not allowing to do that shit, if the freaking gags go away and you actually do serious with a little hint of funny, then okay, it was all him. But sadly for Beast Morphers and even Dino Fury, I still see the horrible gag shit. And it's like I can't say, oh, the writers are not responsible. Yeah, Cali Algent is fully responsible for this damn shit. Okay. They're the producers. They're the ones in charge. And it's like, no, I can't freaking just say, oh, yeah, the that responsible for this. It's still, he's gone. So it's like, yeah, you fucked yourselves over big time. You shouldn't have blamed them. You fucked yourself over big time because you're still doing that crap. You're still doing it. So when it comes to them being like, oh, don't attack them, attack me, but not the writers. Like, no, the writers, I mean, yeah, you most likely are in charge and you're still in charge, maybe. But some are actually speculating, saying that, no, you don't have any control over that anymore. We're not even sure you have control over freaking American dad anymore. It's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're off the better, inquisitions, better things. It's like, yeah, it's kind of funny that it brings funny justice for the South Park guys, where it's like, well, Ted was okay. Ted too was okay. Dad, the freaking sitcom he created, got shot to fucking hell. Damn, that sucks. I think the Cleveland show was actually pretty good, and I was hoping that Comedy Central would just bring it back just like Futurama, but nope, still not. Damn, what the fuck? <sighs> well, it's like you can't really do it anyways, considering, you know, but it's like, it'll be cool if you just do an alternate universe. You can still do an alternate universe. They don't really have to return back to, you know, South, I mean, back to Quahog, like, very easily. You, know, you could add more freaking damn seasons, and then you have the final, the finale, the series finale, just be like, oh, they're going back to Quahog, the end. Just saying. So I was like, I don't know, really. It's like, yeah, I don't know, but that one actually really hit that one hurt but the dad sitcom that sucks for you dude that sucked for you orville is apparently doing okay but i haven't seen a new season so my virus over there well anyways you know that's basically it it's the fact of they actually just hate you for the fact of not because they see they see promise in your damn show they see promise in your damn show and yet you're not going to allow the promise to happen because you allow all these freaking interruptions. And hey, I was okay with the interruptions, I suppose. But sometimes it's like it's more of the what factor versus the. Yeah, bored in the fact of being like, it just comes out of nowhere. It's like, yeah, those are gags. They come out of nowhere. They're pretty OK at times. And it's like pretty funny. It gives you the what factor. But I think after a long while, they just gotten to the more what factor than anything.